Great fucking plan, Smitey. Went all this trouble just so your goddamn parliament could veto the whole operation? General, I know it didn't turn out quite how we planned. You can say that again. Now everybody thinks Sadie was our side who used the goddamn weapon, so as I said, a whip a week to do anything about it. Congratulations, genius. General, I had to arrange the vote that way. What? You arranged for your old parliament to vote against our plan? Yes, and it wasn't easy. I had to convince Cameron's people that it was such a cruel thing they didn't bother turning up. I had to convince Ed Burbank to all his people to vote against the motion he was already committed to supporting. Who the fuck is Ed Burbank? <laughs> oh, look, it doesn't matter. The point is, General, I thought that we made it clear to the world that we were going in, that NATO was going to do Olivia. I thought the Russians arranged would back down, but they didn't. In fact, they started sending Syria even better weapons. It would have been another Iraq, General. I mean, don't worry, General, we can blame it on us and we can blame it on the Labour Party. No one looks weak. Except that freaking <laughs> lily pad or whatever. Okay, I get it, but I'm not happy. We should have seen this coming. Because you know where the real problem, the real obstacle to all our plans? What? Poop. Typical communist. Sees everything we're doing as some kind of plot. How dare he? I know. If it wasn't for him, but our Syria destroyed, has Buller wiped out and ran on his knees. And you know what that would mean? Cutting off a major oil ally of Russia and China in preparation for the big one. And he accuses us of plotting? Well, we'll show him. We'll show him a plot. This is payback time. I want sanctions, economic warfare. Take the gloves off, destabilize his borders. We've been making plans, Smiley, for some time. It's time to put them into effect. You heard of a little chicken shit country called Ukraine? Oh, of course, yeah. It was the center of Russian pure culture, learning for over three centuries. I was only listening on Radio 3 the other day to a very good, at the gates of the a very good classical concert, Mosogorsky, and I think it was the third movement and the fifth when they came into Kiev. It was a very interesting program. Oh, well, that's real nice, Smiley, because we're going to turn it into fucking Baghdad. And we're going to do it your way, Smiley, with death squads, locally recruited. We've been looking into it. There's some serious neo Nazis in that country, and I mean, Serious goose stepping, SS loving, Hitler adoring neo Nazis. You know what, Smiley? They hate the Russians. Who would have thought it? But using outright Nazis, don't you think that will raise a few eyebrows, old boy? You know the drill, Smiley. We'll call them freedom fighters, and that's the end of the story. Freedom fighters. If pushed, okay, maybe some of them are a little bit nationalistic. What are you gonna do? So, what's the plan? Same as him. Get a few people stirred up, send in a sniper to fire at the crowds and the police, sit back and watch all hell breathe loose. Accuse the government of genocide, arm the rebels, recognize them as the judgment rulers, promise them billions of dollars if they throw at the government. Then once they're in power, turn them loose on the Russian population. Can you imagine genuine Nazis waging war against the Russian population of Ukraine? How do you think Putin's gonna like that? Well, what well, imagine he take it rather badly. You can say that again. One way or another, he's got to react. When he does, you say it's him who caused all the trouble in the first place. We step up sanctions and we force the Europeans to join in. Because if they don't, they support in Russian aggression. Mm. These freaking Germans for too long think they can have their cake and eat it. They want to be our ally. They want to be part of NATO. And yet at the same time, do business with the Russians and build up their economy and infrastructure. No. They have to choose. And we're going to make them choose. So you want to have snipers firing at the crowd? That's right. As we did in Syria, <laughs> as we did in Libya, as we did in Venezuela in 2002. Exactly. It's tried and tested. Don't you think people might start to smell a rat? They'll tell whatever we tell them to smell. This media is part of the war, Smiley. There's going to be no debate. It's going to be a deafening chorus of Russian aggression, Russian aggression, Russian aggression. You're not going to be able to pick up a paper or switch on a TV for five minutes without hearing that phrase. Uh, and have you considered what the Zionist lobby will think about bringing neo-Nazis to power on Europe's doorstep? Zionist lobby? Let me tell you something. They don't give us the freaking idea. Listen, because for this is for much as for Israel, it's for us, mighty. Cripple Russia, you cripple Syria, you cripple Hezbollah, you get on to Iran. And what's that mean? That means you strengthen Israel. We need to just work out one thing. How do we get enough people on the streets of Kiev in the first place? Mm, that's one thing. Well, you do know we've got this EU trade agreement coming up with Ukraine, don't you? Go on. Well, a lot of people in Ukraine will be very angry if it doesn't get signed. Now, as things stand at the moment, Ukraine is all set to sign it. But if we inserted a few passages in, in there that were, shall we say, unpalatable to the Ukrainians. Now, I like it, Smiley. We'll make him an offer he has to refuse. Exactly. Like we did with Milosevic and Rambo. Exactly. 
And I know just the thing, their president Yanukovych was elected on a promise of neutrality. He wanted to unify the pro-European and pro-Russian forces in the country on the base of making economic agreements with both, and military agreements with neither. Now he's already signed trade deals with Russia, and that's why it's so important for the pro-Europeans that he signs this one with Europe too. But if he doesn't, he'll be seen as too pro-Russian. And the Ukrainian nationalists won't like that. Yet will be just the thing to get the nationalists, including your neo-Nazis, stirred up. But all we have to do is to turn the EU trade into a military agreement, and there'll be no way he can sign it. Smiley, you know, I'm beginning to forgive you already. Just a couple of paragraphs about military cooperation within the EU and NATO, and there is no way you'll be able to sign it. We go against his entire mandate of neutrality, and bingo, you will have your uprising. Smiley, you got it all planned out, don't you? Here's to our neo-Nazi freedom fighters. To our neo-Nazi freedom fighters. Thank <laughs> you.